Excellent. So thank you for joining us. We have a very special guest with us for this mentoring session. Um, and Francis, have you brought your book with you? I just thought. Have you got a copy oh. with you? It's okay uh, if you don't because I do. I have a copy right near me. <laughs> <laughs> I do have one. It's over at the other uh -huh. side of the room. Look at that. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> so we have the oh, author. It's like a great book. <laughs> it's a fabulous book. Have you read it? <laughs> couple of times. <laughs> so we have Francis with us, who is the amazing author of this book. Now, um, Francis is going to tell us a little bit about the Forever Journey in just a moment. She did the 90 day challenge in our very first group. So in 2017, in our July intake. So firstly, Francis, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Absolute pleasure. Uh, so I would like to know, first of all, um, can you tell us a bit about your book? Tell us a little bit about what, I guess, what inspired you to write it uh, and a little bit about it and why somebody might want to go and grab it. Sure. Um, I think that it had been brewing for a little while, um, I guess. And uh, it's, it's really about my journey here in Australia. I've been here for five years. Um, but it's about what I've learned about the country, but also what I've learned about myself in that time. And it, and it happily coincided, as you know, the publication of it with the very day that I became an Australian citizen, which was quite cool. Which was so, amazing. It was such yeah, an amazing was, experience because um, we, had, we had, for those that weren't there, um, and we had the, this book launch and, and everyone was there and um, we had oh, probably about 40, 50 people in the room. And I knew that Frances was off getting her, uh, becoming an official Aussie. So when she came in the room, when she first walked in the room, I was in a different room at the time and I just heard this Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. I'm like, yes, yes. He's arrived so at cool. last. And then you came in and you saw this. And, I know. Uh, it was the first time that I'd actually seen the, you know, hard copy. So it was very exciting. Yeah. What and was that moment like, actually? It was really quite overwhelming. Um, and also the fact that there were so many friends that had to show up for the launch as well. Um, that was really quite powerful for me and, you know, very touching. Um, even though you know, they were kind of like, well, where the hell have you been? Actually, no, where the bloody hell have you been? Just like the advert. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. stop becoming an Aussie. It's all good. That's it. That's it. <laughs> So, and it was, it was uh, really such a feeling of achievement. And what I loved about the 90s was um, that it really gave me that time frame, the goal um, within which to do it. Because, uh, I mean, if you, one of the things that seemed to occur to me when I started writing it is that I could have gone on forever and added things, subtracted things, changed things. The forever Add. journey could have been going forever. <laughs> exactly, and never ever being published so forever on my laptop. So um, I thought it was it was great to have that um, actual time frame. It really focused the mind, and also me uh, the planning of it in the beginning really focused my attention on what it was that I wanted to say most of all. Uh, and I remember so, having conversations with you around that too. I remember at the start there was. A little bit of uncertainty and, and lack of clarity and then I remember that moment where you kind of went boom that's what it is and it was that moment of, of I think and correct me if I'm wrong it felt like it was that moment of, of really connecting with your message and where you wanted it to go yeah definitely definitely and because um, it's all about stepping up to change I guess um, and also seeking it but taking full responsibility for it um that's me you know that does embody um you know probably top uh, value uh, change and so it was quite easy um once i had actually realized this and like you say i've understood what the message if you like sounds a little bit highfalutin but you know what my <laughs> my myself even was and I loved the way that it brought together coalesced a lot of my experience um it was actually really powerful for me let alone you know for anybody else it's been fantastic to have people who have read it 
tell me how inspiring they felt it was, um, how much they could resonate with, or how many, how many things within the book resonated with them, um, how they could relate to a lot of the, the themes and, and things that had happened. Um, and that was really, really cool. I must admit. <laughs> now I bore everybody. Oh, I'm so much <laughs> <laughs> and I, I love that you would have had a lot of people reading it that were from the Australian culture and, and had that background and people like yourself that had come into that culture. So yeah. for me, being born and bred in Australia, what I found, and I, I believe I did say this to you, one of the things that really kind of stood out and resonated for me is the connection with the beauty of Australia. I read it and I was just like, yeah, this place is kind of amazing. And it, yeah. was, it was that reconnection and that, um, I guess, that observance through somebody else's eyes of all the things that maybe I was taking a little bit for granted. So it was about mm-hmm. kind of reconnecting with gratitude as well. It's really interesting you say that because mm-hmm. in writing it, it made me reflect a little bit on my, you know, on the UK, my own yeah. homeland as well. And, you know, explore some of the ideas around whether I'd taken that for granted yeah, as well. Yeah, that's interesting. Being, gra- being grateful for, and also perhaps um, being aware of things that maybe I didn't notice because you do t- tend to take things for granted when they're around you all the time. Yeah. So um, it, was, it was quite interesting for me as well. And also I've got people in the UK who bought it and read it. Mm. So for them, it was a, an yeah. insight into a whole different culture as yeah. well so and and i can see on um on uh iron publications that you've had sales in like three different um three different uh, uh currencies so there's uk sale i'm pretty sure there's a u.s sale i don't yes. know if you even know about that one you do cool excellent and then all the sales the are... i didn't yeah. know about the US. yeah i'm pretty sure it's yours it's got three different currency sales i'm like wow She's international. <laughs> and there so are cool. some reviews on there. But because most people have bought them directly from me, I keep saying, go on to Amazon and go to review. But, yeah. you know. Um, Absolutely. And you've actually ordered more books. Like you've, you've sold out of your first lot and you've just ordered more books, which is really cool. It is quite cool. Yeah. So, now, um, uh, we do have a live audience here. So we do have people that are watching. And I want to let you guys know that if you have any questions, please pop them in the chat uh, or just wave at me because I can see you. So, <laughs> so if you have any questions for Francis, let us know. Okay, um, probably pop, pop it in the chat just in case I'm like, you know, in depth in conversation. Um, I'll probably say it quicker. So if you had to share just one piece of advice with our current group, so the people that are actually in the program right now, and the program that's running right now, they're actually towards the end of their um, the action phase and they're about to go into WTF. So what, kind, what piece of advice would you give them at this stage? Uh, let me see. What, one piece. Um, well, to actually keep going for sure because it gets better and better. Um, I mean, my, one of the tricks, I suppose, that I learned really early on was not to finish writing at the end of a chapter, but to um, actually start the next chapter before I finish so that I knew where to pick up the next time I got an opportunity. Because, you know, I work as well. So, you know, it's not like I'm lounging around all day just, oh, I think I'll write a little bit more. <laughs> so, um, I'm not doing know, anything for the next four hours <laughs> yet. <laughs> so it could have been a week before I got another opportunity to write. So, um, it was, I found that the first time when I didn't do that, I found it really hard to pick up the thread. I had to go back and reread. And then when I reread it, I wanted to rewrite it. Oh, was, there we go. Yep. <laughs> so the trick that I then developed was to make sure that I wrote the start of the next chapter so that I knew where to pick up yeah. um, when, I, when I started writing again. And that, I think, really saved me. And it helped keep flow as well yeah well one of, one of the tricks that I do too is sometimes I'll actually stop mid-sentence because I know what that mm. sentence is so that I can come back and know that I can automatically pick it up so yeah you're doing a trick that's quite similar to something I do as well <laughs> yeah. 
Absolutely. Now, uh, Mariana has said very inspirational, which you oh, absolutely well, are. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> now, I'd love, I'm going to ask you a bit of a, a different question. And I, I, this tends to be my favorite question to ask. And I ask this question quite often in like coaching sessions and conversations. And I just find it's really cool. So my question I'm going to ask you is what question would you love us to ask you next? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I love it because it totally flips it. And we don't know. We don't know what we don't know. So I'd love to know from you what you'd love to share. So what question would you love us to ask? What are you going to do now? Oh, so I've got a great question for you. Okay, Francis, what are you going to do now? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm actually, I've started writing a short story for a competition. Yes, I have the one that you, yes. Bug. Yeah. yeah. So told you about that so um i'm also um i want to do recordings of some of my book um also themes from the book so i'll do some readings from the book but around themes and that i'll then use as discussion points that will lead into some of the other webinars that i want to get online um will be um lead generators as well as building profile at least that's the plan so you're so, taking this and you're using the book as a lead magnet for your business to grow your business? Yeah, I want to leverage cool. that um, and you know, try to maximise it. I also want to do another one at some point, but I feel like I need to try and leverage this first. Yeah. Um, so I'll do the short story in the meantime so that I, get, I can make my fix. Yeah, and um, I think I mentioned to you as well about... Um, uh, up and up media that does mix, mixtape and does the short story anthologies so yes. if you want to pop a short story in there he'll be thrilled oh, to have that, that come through cool. yeah yeah that would be great yeah why not <laughs> absolutely i'll be in there yeah, actually i've um, i've been drumming up some business for him this week i've spoken to quite a few people and, and said oh yeah you should submit to that so <laughs> so it's going to be a really good one yeah very cool. So I'd love to know, with, the, with your writing your book, what was the biggest challenge that you had at the start? What was the, I guess, the biggest block you had to overcome just to do the program? Um, well, I found the first planning um, part quite straightforward. With the, I mean, I just had to guess, you know, the number of words. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> And, you know, it was like, I have no idea. I can't actually yeah. even remember. I think it was, was it 20,000 in the end? Um, so this, this oh. is uh, 22, I think it was. Right. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So, um, you know, so I had to choose that. And then, then your wonderful template calculated, you know, yeah. the rest. <laughs> but then um, I got a little bit lost once I started drilling down into, you know, the, this chapter will be there. I found that I was trying to put too much in. Yeah. To the, um, and I knew that I wasn't going to be writing a hundred thousand words in that space of time. So, um, you know, I, that I needed to simplify it. So that I found quite challenging. Um, I'm, but that became more clear when I had that moment of clarity that you mentioned because it's sort I remember of, that. Yeah. yeah. It meant I that, that I could, have, yeah, it was just, mm. oh, this is about me. It doesn't have to be clever. You know, it doesn't have to be, it's not going to enter the canon of English literature. Um, <laughs> it, doesn't, no, yeah. it doesn't have to be Shakespeare. It doesn't have to compare with people that have been writing for 30 years. <laughs> yes. Which was one yeah. of my big things in my head. Yeah. And, um, you know, that it's my story and that that's okay. And that it's actually um, really explaining what was important to me. That's what it was. And I think that once I really focused in on that and it was about that change, you know, um, around change, that helped me then to um, actually got rid of stuff yeah. from the first plan. It's just like that doesn't actually fit um you know and some things I thought I might 
get rid of, but they ended up back in. Yeah. Um, like there was so a- did you keep all of that stuff, all that stuff that you got rid of or that you were thinking of getting rid of? Did you kind of keep that in another file and make sure that you still had the words you've written? Um, I, I didn't actually... What did I do? I think, yes, I, yes, I have got that. Correct answer. Version. <laughs> but, um, but to be honest, a lot of, most of that culling was actually at the planning stage rather than the writing stage. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I, thought so. writing, I had much mm -hmm. more focus about what was mm -hmm. going to be. In. It's just that sometimes I got a bit carried away in the word purge, which <laughs> is like, you need to do it for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for saying that because I know some of the guys because they're the current group are in that word purge at the moment. They're in the late stage of the word purge, and I know for some of them, they um, they got themselves a little bit behind because they got stuck on that whole perfectionism thing rather than yeah. word purging. And once they started word purging, they realised it just yeah. It actually flows so much better because I stopped thinking so much about how would this sound. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. like. It's going to sound like me if you yeah. just write. And that's what it ended up being. Um, and that's why it's and, so beautiful. Well, it's quite interesting because a, a, a longtime friend of mine back in UK, um, he said to me, uh, it was actually really lovely to hear your voice. Oh, I love that. <laughs> you know what I love that. the most about that? I'm currently recording. Uh, I'm, I'm in the middle of creating and recording the next training for the program um which are obviously like i've told you i'm going back and, and redoing some of the ones that were in our group because yeah. in our group you had very limited compared to what the other groups are getting <laughs> and the one that i'm doing at the moment it is to me <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, so you'll have access to to this new lot as well so that'll be interesting um but the training the training i'm, I'm doing right mo at the moment is about voice and it's actually about finding your voice in what you're presenting. So I'm, I'm really stoked that you did that without having that training available to you. That's so cool. I think, that, well, I think it was just that I didn't really know how else to do it. <laughs> which, is, which is perfect. It's getting out of your head and doing the whole thing of writing from your heart instead of your head because that is where your voice is. I think the word purge is what actually made that happen yeah. for me. Because it was just like, I have to keep writing. I have to keep writing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How long did you, you resist it before you let it come? Well, it was, it was so interesting because I thought that I may end up with tens of thousands of words that yeah. I really didn't like. And I didn't. Yeah. I actually kept most of them. And I rearranged yeah. some parts, um, you know, it, it was actually quite interesting because yeah. there were some bits that I didn't really think fit. And maybe they don't, you know, like maybe if I went back and redid the whole thing, I would think, actually, that's a little clumsy. Yeah. You know, of course you're going to do that, though, because you're growing. So if you go back to this yeah. in a year's time, there'll be parts in it. You're like, what? 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 Why would yeah, I write that? They're already, I said, I think, oh, really? Absolutely. I egg weighed that a little bit more yeah. smooth. <laughs> you know, but, yeah. I mean, and if you, you know, and if you kept, if you'd done that and you didn't just get this done, you still wouldn't have a book. So exactly. this is because you, you got out of your own way. Yeah, exactly right. Love it. Yeah. Down with yeah. perfectionism. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a recovering perfectionist. It's been, wow. oof, it's been a few months now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, that book helped me a, a lot with, do yeah. it um, process I think you know and before before that I'd also done um, uh, that, the 14 day challenge online but doing the Facebook live and so forth yes yeah and so that had been a sort that of a challenge little perfectionism there. yeah um, I really did but I still mm -hmm. wasn't the book though was really putting myself out there because it's it's a very personal account it's not yeah. intimate but it's mm -hmm. you know like it wouldn't be embarrassing for my children you know what yeah. I mean <laughs> It's not like that, but it's personal um, and open to judgment and even criticism or ridicule. You know, I mean, it, but, this is vulnerability. Yeah, exactly. It was a massive thing for me to, to do that. And actually, you know what? That's the biggest thing about the book. Yes. That's the biggest thing. 
biggest thing, thing for me too, even to this day. Mm. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Awesome. Um, and I find that for a lot of people, because really, and I was talking to this about this with someone a little bit earlier today. So the, the safe problem with not writing a book is, you know, time or you know, money or don't know where to start or this or blah, 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 blah. Mm. The risky problem, the truth, the real problem is I'm not enough. That's yeah. what the real problem is. So yeah. this is putting that out there and just being like, it's not overcoming completely going, I am enough. It's going, I'm enough. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like um, you know, when you're terrified to jump in a swimming pool, yeah, yeah. just hold your nose and do it anyway, you know, and yeah. just like, oh, well, once I'm in. Absolutely. And have, yeah. I'd love to know, what's been the reaction? When people find out you've written a book, what's been your reaction? Oh, they're amazed and yeah. in awe yeah. um, and inspired, yeah. you know, just that they haven't even read it. I'll tell you a wonderful story. I um, actually someone who wasn't able to come to the launch, but another colleague did. You might remember him, Toby. He bought, yeah. an, he bought two, one for himself and one for his colleague. It's yeah. actually his boss. And uh, I had a drink with her just yesterday. Yeah. And he said that she stood up with, she manages all of these students in the student halls of accommodation at the university. Wow. And yeah. I won't name it, but you know, the one that I. Yeah. And um, <laughs> I know. <laughs> she, she was doing sort of like the end of year spiel and she spoke about my book. Wow. Oh my <laughs> I know. God. Um, That's amazing. Spoke, I know, and she spoke about um, you know how inspired she'd been, and just you know the, the change of coming to a new country, new yeah. culture, and because like at university that. you've got a lot of students there that are in that experience yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, wow. I so, you know, you, you can't ask people to do that, but I mean yeah. you can. But you know what I mean, it's the sort of thing that. Yeah. I didn't even think to ask her to do that. It's a weird thing to ask. Yeah. But the fact that she just did that, I thought was... That's amazing. Mm. Oh, my God. And she was saying how much she enjoyed it and how yeah. wonderful she thinks it is, which yeah. obviously be like a million bucks. Yeah. Oh, my God. That is incredible. And that's, yeah. and that's the kind of stuff that, yeah, like you said, you... you it's not that you can't ask, but it's the kind of thing that you can't replace that. You can't. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's just one of those moments where you're like, what, really? that, what just happened? Okay, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. That, that was cool. <laughs> so I want to, I want to know, have you had any negativity, negativity or any judgment? Not to my face. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I know about. <laughs> and here's the bigger question. Now that you've done your book, would you care? No. I suppose if I'm really honest, yeah, maybe honest, some please. more. Maybe You're human. No, I'm just myself. You know, maybe yeah. with some people more than with others. Yeah. Um, you know, like if, if my children read it and said something negative I hear more than if somebody that I hardly knew yeah. said that you know yeah. um but uh, my my uh, kids haven't read it yet but yeah. my son-in-law has yes my son -in -law has so my wow. daughter bought, bought it off Amazon and my son-in-law has read it yeah and he said you need to read this <laughs> God. I know that was I thought quite people don't amazing. get this yeah. oh my gosh that's amazing that is yeah so, cool. so I'm taking a pile back because I think that's Christmas Christmas covered yeah um, <laughs> <laughs> I love that. are you gonna wrap them up or just literally just maybe just you know get one of those bows stick a bow on it <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love this so much. <laughs>
<laughs> so yeah, no, it's um, incredible. This is yours. So, you did that. So what, I know. I mean, I mm. I must admit, I do. I do love having it. <laughs> I mean, the fact that I've done it, it's just yeah. really amazing to me. And so many but other people you, out there never do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, more are going to now thanks to you. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, that that's um that's a great uh great point and a great lead in. What would you what would you say to someone who's perhaps still on the fence, going, I don't know if I should, I don't know if I should. Um, I, I still more in that fear of judgment and that fear of failure and the fear of not being enough and all of those things that you know so much about. We all know about them. So what would you say to somebody who's kind of in that still and uh, and not quite jumping over? I suppose it would depend on what stage of that they were at. If yeah. they were at a petrified state, I'd say go get some coaching. Love it, yes. <laughs> if they were at the more wobbly stage, like I, you know, well, I suppose I've moved along a little bit by the time I came to do it, yeah. but I'm um, just... Just do it because, I mean, seriously, I have spent so many years worrying about what other people might mm. think about me or what I say or what I do. And in the end, I don't think they think about us nearly as much as we think they do. No, because they're, they're too busy thinking about what everybody thinks about them. <laughs> so, uh, you know, and, and also... F- because on a really personal level, um, what it did for me is worth any of the judgment that anybody could throw at me. Like yeah. I say, I haven't had, I don't, to be, people are kinder than that anyway, you know, because most people are so involved by the fact that you've actually done something like this. Even if they read it, that's, I mean, that's one of the things I sometimes do think, are they just being kind? But, you know, <laughs> even, even if they have read it yeah. and they think, oh, well, that bit, you know, I'm not so sure about whatever. Um, most people are still pretty overawed by the fact that you've done it. So yeah. they're kind, that's a great point. You know, kind, kind about it. They're not really super critical because it's not like I'm holding my hands up and saying, oh, I am the new JK Rowling. Or, <laughs> You know, it's yeah. my, my little book, my little offering. Um, I'm really proud of it. And I hope you and enjoy so it. should be. I yeah. enjoyed writing, you yeah. know, and that's, that's it, really. Yeah. Um, because I think that actually the author gets way more out of it than anybody else. Agreed. That is so well said. And I love that. Um, for me, I find that most people, yeah, they're in awe of it. So even if they read it and give me, like, I, I love getting feedback. I love getting feedback where people are like, this part didn't really work or yeah. this part, like I remember my first novel, I had the feedback from a few people that the first part was very slow, which completely makes sense. Um, yeah. I hadn't written for 30 years and I'd gone back into it and it, like I read it now and I'm like, oh my God, just hurry up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's my own book. So I completely <laughs> get it. And that's how you grow and that's how you yeah. learn. But the fact is, most people haven't done this. So that's when that, you say you've written a book, that alone is like, oh my God, that's amazing. That's a huge mm-hmm. accomplishment. So many people, very few people are going to go, oh, well, this and that's, that's, that shouldn't know and that should go. Because they haven't done it themselves yeah. and they that's know right. that they're too scared to. <laughs> I mean, I even asked because I wanted some real feedback. Yeah. So I asked Toby, who was an English teacher. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. He, but, he, but he was again, harsh, yeah? Harsh, but. No, he wasn't actually. Yeah. You know, so it's like, are you sure you're not just being kind? Um, I want some I real feedback. Going. He, did, he did say, though, um, that he felt that there was um, a lot of unanswered questions. So he looks forward to the next installment. There we go. That's what you want. Yeah. That's what you want. And um, when, when you write a book, and, and I, I, th- I think that you had this experience as well. When you write your first book, it tends to open up this creative flow 
that maybe had a bit of a blockage on it before. Mm. And suddenly you start seeing book ideas in everything. Yes. <laughs> yes. Great. And it's all your fault. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> everyone has said everyone wants to write another book. Um, everyone wants to get, you know, back involved in it. And like you said, I think what you said was brilliant, that there's so many things in here that are unanswered because one of the reasons a lot of people don't write their book is because they say, I don't know that I know enough to fill a book. But once mm. you write a book, you're like, oh, my God, you're kidding? That was like this much of what I thought I needed to yeah. say. And now I've got yeah. five more books I can write from this. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's great. Well for me, because it's sort of, it's not an autobiography, but it's yeah. autobiographical. So, I mean, if, if you bloody well know your own life, then who does? <laughs> you know, so I couldn't really use that as an excuse. Oh, I, I don't know what to say about, you know. <laughs> what happened next in my life? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that. I love it. And I love that you have so many ideas coming to you as well. So your, your group just now are... are yeah. um, are, are any of them writing um, something similar to that or is it um, uh, more specific niche? Um? Yeah, so we've got, um, we've got an interesting group in this one. We've got one who's writing her book as a introduction to her program. So it's actually going to build on her program, mm. which is really cool. I'm, I'm doing the opposite. I've got the program and now I'm writing the book as a lead magnet for the program. So I'm actually writing the, the seven steps into a book at the moment. Um, we've got another one that's very much around branding, which is going to be, well, she's a, she's a branding expert. Um, but her book is, it's not, I wouldn't say it's along the lines of narrative nonfiction, but I know hers is going to have a lot of the layers. Does that make sense? There's going to mm -hmm. be a lot of layers in it. And then we have, yeah. um, Suzanne as well. So she's doing the, the book that was started and oh, yeah. continuing on with that so that'll be mm. that'll be beautiful that one she, mm. it will be just beautiful um so. and then in the next group coming up next year we've got a few people in that are it's an interesting group again we've got a lot of people with shiny thing syndrome so i'm going to have to do something about that <laughs> i noticed that really early got three of them already that are like just shiny thing syndrome i'm like I need to manage that very early. Um, but we've got... Fun for you. Yeah, we've, we've got a bit of a fiction kind of vibe coming from these cool guys man. as well. So it's very cool. Very exciting. Maybe I have to yeah. pop back on. <laughs> hey? Maybe I have to pop back on. I'm yeah. going to have to join another one next year. <laughs> Absolutely. Join the night. Well, we've got, um, we've got the retreats coming up next year as well. So oh, yeah. So we'll updated in regard to those. And... Uh, as soon as all of the online program is loaded up, you'll have access to that as well. And I'm going to yeah. place this with your permission. I'll actually place this onto the online program so other people, so it'll be available forever. Is that cool? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and what I'll do is I'll, I'll pop a link in for where people can get this. So where, where oh. can they get it? Where can they get it? Amazon.com or directly from me. Which is an yeah. even smarter idea. Look at that. Yeah. Because then and you can, can get it signed. Hey? You can email direct at Ooh, Francis, would you, uh, yeah. Francis at francislockery.com.au. Excellent. It's a little bit of a mouthful, but it's on the cover of the There's book. the spelling, guys. There's the spelling. That's it. <laughs> and... Uh, awesome. So is there anything else? Um, because our video will probably cut out in about three minutes so any thoughts that you'd like to to leave us with or uh just i can't reiterate enough how absolutely uh, tremendous the whole experience was um i wasn't very sure to begin with but there was you know i'd i'd really wanted to do this for some time yeah. um and really at this planning stage i thought oh my god have i bit enough more than i can chew <laughs> And common thought, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but once I really got writing, the first, I mean, the first time I sat down and write, seriously, I only wrote some like 500 words. And I thought, oh my God, I'm never going to, I'm never going to do this. Yeah. Um, and then it was consistently two and a half, 3,000 yeah. words at a go. Once um, you had clarity on your, on yeah, your structure. Yeah. yeah. And just keep going. And it's, it's just 
the top experience just fantastic i love thank it thank you so much you're amazing well thank you so much for joining us absolute honor to have you on i'm so proud of you and you know that um, thank you in fact you can read about how proud i am on the back of this one that's right <laughs> <laughs> make sure you oh. grab it if you haven't already it's a really really amazing read um i love this book i'm so happy that i actually have this in my hands as well so thank you so much francis you're an absolute superstar and uh, i'd love to see you dropping by in in future groups as well and and sharing your wisdom because you are just amazing oh that's i'd love to you know i would yeah. anytime i'm not yeah. sure about wisdom but i'm always happy to share my opinion <laughs> <laughs> Wisdom, opinion, yeah, we'll call it <laughs> opinion. It's all or semantic. Wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just make up a word. It's all good. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you again. Uh, it was an absolute honor to have you here. And uh, we will see you next time. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks so much. Good luck with the book. <laughs> thank you. Bye.